So today I'm bringing you along on Farabee's morning routine. Every day starts out like this. Farabee sleeps in bed with me, so we always snuggle in the morning after I very first wake up for a few minutes just to kind of start the day off right. Usually every morning, Farabee moves to the bottom of the bed to look out the window to see if she sees any squirrels to bark at. <laughs> and she's barking at squirrels right now as we're doing a voiceover. As soon as we get out of bed, we go outside and let Farabee have a potty break, but we just go out and let her get a breath of fresh air, use the bathroom, take a look around, that kind of thing. After we come in from the bathroom, usually Farabee goes over and has some water. She has breakfast available, but she's not a real big breakfast person, so at this time she usually just has water. So as you saw a minute ago, Farabee asked to go for a walk, and as soon as I got down with my breakfast, we went for a walk. Sometimes she'll ask to relax, and so we'll relax before we go for a walk. It's kind of up to her, unless I have something that is time sensitive, which 99% of the time, I don't. After our walk, we go upstairs and I have a shower. I put Farabee a bowl of fresh food in her crate. She doesn't ever get locked in her crate, but I have it and give her food in here just because I think it's a good idea for her to be comfortable with it. And then I also give her one of her agility vitamins. While I'm in the shower, she either eats or she does this. So she will sit on this little box, which used to be her grooming tote when she was a baby, and she'll watch out the window for squirrels or cats, and it's super cute. So after I have a shower, I go ahead and clean Farabee's face and then I brush her teeth. 
And the toothpaste we're using right now is from Bodie Dog. We really love this a lot. And then I'm just using a regular toothbrush for her. Next is time to do her hair. So I take out some bands. I just use rainbow loom bands, a metal comb, and a Chris Christerson big coral brush and some clips. So I always clip up her hair and then I brush her ears out. If you have a dog with any texture to their hair at all, you also need to use a metal comb after you brush them just to make sure that you can get the brush to the skin all the way. And then I use big round clips. These are actually for rollers, so the teeth don't actually touch her ear. It just goes completely around, kind of like a barrel. It doesn't actually touch her ear with the claw part. So after I brush her ears, I move on to the top knot, and I don't take her whole entire top knot down at once. I take it down in sections, just like it's pulled up other than on bath day and on bath day i take it all down at once but i do brush it out and reband it every day just because i've found that it makes it a lot easier for us to care for and she doesn't have to sit as long for me to you know get out mats or tangles or anything i always cut the bands off of her hair rather than just pulling them out and then I also reclip the sections as I go. So after I get the back section done, I'll clip it back. And then in a second, you'll notice I clip the front section so it stays separate. It just prevents everything from getting all jumbled up and tangled as we're brushing each section out. So whenever you're pulling your dog's hair up, make sure that you're putting enough slack in the hair sections before the bands so that it creates a little bubble or a poof um, just so that it's not pulling their skin too hard particularly over their eyes you don't want to pull their eyelids up and give them a facelift accidentally so the next part of our morning is what Faraby calls relaxing this is actually me working and I usually turn on spa music for her, like the 432 Hertz music whenever I'm working, unless I'm having to listen to something or edit something with sound. So she loves to snuggle up on my lap while I work and it's super sweet. And I love that she calls this relaxing. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing her morning routine. I had a lot of fun putting this together, so I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. We post videos every week, so we will see you soon. Bye guys.